Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video, I will show you how you can add a WhatsApp floating icon to your website for free without using any plugin. We will be using Wallface in this video, but you can use the same method for any platform like Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, Wiplo, or even a custom coded website. And why you need it is it's very important to add a call to action or direct a WhatsApp link to your website if you want your clients or customers to reach you out using WhatsApp easily. So let's see how we can do it. We will add a WhatsApp floating icon here, okay, to this same website. Now, the first thing is you will need to follow this link in the description, which will take you to this page where you will find a blog related to this video. Now, how to edit? You can see this code. Just copy this code, and now you can add it to any website or any page builder, okay. Now, for this particular website, I'm using Wallface and I have created this using Elementor, okay. So let me edit to Elementor and you can follow the same method for any platform. So I'll edit the home page with Elementor. And here we will need to add an HTML code that you can use to any section. Or you can just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can add it over here. Then go here and search for HTML and drag this element and then paste that code. As soon as I paste that code, I found the icon here. Now a bit explanation, we are displaying an image that I already have set up for you and this is the style for it which has set the position to be fixed at the bottom, this is the z index and this is the height and width and the border radius ok and then how it will grow ok, you can see and this is for mobile and tablet. Now one thing you must change is your number here ok, I have typed in this but you can type in your own number here including the country code so let me put my number this is the country code and this is my number so in this format okay and that's it now just publish it and let's preview it and there we go and this will be sticky here okay if i scroll the page i still see it and if i switch to mobile view and this is the tablet view and then we have mobile so we have it on all the devices let's go back and how it works if i click it this will open up a chat with the number i set there okay now we can click on continue to chat and we can start conversation with this number so this was simple now this is only on the home page if i go to any other page i can't see it okay the reason is we have only added to the home page now to add it globally to all the pages just go to that same link and uh, you will find another code here so to add it globally on all pages use this code now this code is a bit different from the previous one this is a function that we can add to our function.php file or we can add it by using a code snippet plugin okay so let's see how it works i'll just copy this and let's go back to Elementor to remove the current widget, okay? We'll publish it. And now we don't have on any page. To edit globally, again, we'll go to our dashboard. And as I mentioned, you can use a code snippet plugin. For that, you can go to plugins, add new, and search for code. So you can either use code snippet or WP code, any of these, okay? Or you can use your theme file editor for which you can go to appearance theme file editor and then go to functions file okay here and now for this one make sure to use child theme to keep it after the theme update okay so i'll just click here and we'll hit enter and then we'll paste that second code and that's it again make sure to change your number here and the rest of the code should work fine let me update it and let's check our website i'll open in a new tab so we have got the icon on the home page on the second page third one and also on the blog page so this was the code method and if you want to add a whatsapp icon using a plugin you can just go to my channel and search for whatsapp and you will find another video to add a whatsapp chat to your website okay 
So I hope you will find this video helpful and for more such videos you can follow my channel and still if there were any confusion and let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.